Hello everyone, this is Daily Development here, and today we're going to be doing an interview question that was asked by Amazon. So the question is, given a string S and an integer K, break up the string into two multiple lines such that each line has a length of K or less. You must break it up so that the words don't break across lines. Each line has to have the maximum possible amount of words. If there is no way to break the text up, then return null. So uh, in this case, here's an example, right? Let's say we put the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in case 10. Then what has to happen is we have to break the string up in a way that every single string has less than 10 characters. So if you count all the characters in the quick, in the brown fox, in the jumps over, they are all less than 10. And so this is what we have to do. And we also have to make sure we have maximum number of words in them, right? So it would be good if we can fit three words in one string. But in this case, the qu uh, the quick brown, you know, is not going to fit because there it's overall more than 10 characters long. So we need to try to keep as many words as possible in a single section by making also, we have to make sure that the total number of characters is less than 10. All right, so let's begin. Let's uh, write a function. I'll call it maybe split or let's call it breakup. You know, <laughs> S and K. So we will have these, these two. What is the actual string? Well, I'll pass this for right now and then print. OK, so let's break up and let's copy this string right here. And also put 10. So first thing that I'd like to probably do is let's break it up into words, into an individual words. Okay, so what this does is it it chooses all the spaces, right? So you find all the spaces in the string S, and then it breaks them up and creates an array out of them, right? So it gets rid of all the spaces and creates an array instead of them. All right, so now that we have all the words, what I would like to do is first, I would like to iterate through them. So word and words. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm checking that every single word has, is less than or equal to K characters. Because let's just say in here, right, we have to split this into sections and then each section has to be less than 10 characters, right? But if the word itself, if there is a word that contains 10 characters, I mean, sorry, more than 10 characters, so let's just say there's a word that contains 11 characters, then we can't break this up into uh, smaller sections, right? Then it would be impossible to do. So for that reason, we must make sure that every single word is less than or equal to K. Otherwise, it's just, it's impossible. So we just have, no, we just have to return it none. All right. So next thing what I have to do is let's create, you know, answer. This this will contain all the sections inside of it. And then let's just create an individual section. And in this case, what I'm going to do is words zero. So let's just take the first word, let's say. Okay. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to just go through every single word. So in range from one to length of words. So the reason I picked one here, because we have zero already. So as you see here, words zero has, you know, I already used it. So for that reason, now I'm starting from one. Okay, and now what I'm going to do. First, I want to check, can the length, you know, let's just say we have this section right now. If we add another word to it, is this going to be less than or equal to K? If it will, then I, then I guess section, we can add that word. In other words, what I'm doing here is I'm just checking if we add those two words up, if I add another word to it, to already existing section, right? Will that still be less than k characters long? If yes, then add it here. Otherwise, what we have to do is we just have to answer. I'm just going to do append 
section, right? And then section equals words I. And that way you just clear all the section. Okay, so we can't add to it. So now we have to create a new section. I'm gonna save the previous one and create a new section. And this is the idea on how we're gonna be creating it. Um, so currently we can just return the answer. But before that, we have to do one thing. So you know, if we were to run this right now, there's no dog at the end. The last section is missing. And so to fix that, we have to do answer.append section. All right? So now if we run this, okay. So now we have this dog right here. Now, because the last section in here, right, we're not really adding it to answer. So for that reason, towards the very end, we have to just one last time append section to the answer. And now, you know, it's working. As you see, just let's double check. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you see, it is working and we just solved this problem that was asked by Amazon. So if you enjoyed this video, please put thumbs up and subscribe. It'll help me a lot and see you next time.